All right, guys, I'm back. So uh, I'm going to do a video here real quick uh, on how to fix uh, the hovering bug. And I'll go ahead and show you uh, how to do this and what it looks like in case you're a little confused. So that's the hover bug. So the problem with using the other method that I showed y'all for fixing this is that if your character has no shoes on by default like this, then they're going to hover above the ground. And the reason why is because when you reassign the skeleton, it uh, seems to mess it up and it offsets their feet. Uh, or well, all their bones it offsets their whole entire skeleton uh, from the center location so the ALS thinks that your character is is right here when they're actually up here so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you all how I fix that real quick and how you can do it too so if you open up your animation blueprint uh, not this but if you open up your animation blueprint and you double click anim graph and you find foot IK right here on the linked anim layer double click that foot IK anim layer and you're gonna come in here and we're just going to subtract a feet effector offset and a pelvis effector offset and also I went ahead and did this as well and what I did is I just went to uh, this bind right here it'll say bind and you go right here and you click expose this pin and I created variables right here to store the uh, data and then right here uh, you can just say make vector and then off of here you can say break vector and then hook the X and the Y up and subtract from the Z and promote to variable and call this feed effector offset uh, and plug the same one into the right foot offset and then down here you're going to do it for the pelvis as well because different characters will have different uh, will be different sizes and with different sizes they're going to have different lengths of legs and with that comes the need to offset the pelvis differently from the feet on some of them the values may be the same but on characters that are abnormally large like this one you will need to set those separately so what we're going to do is you're going to come over here uh, to advanced locomotion v4 blueprints character logic and then right here the ALS base character BP you're going to open it up and you're going to create three variables feet effector offset will be a float pelvis effector offset will be a float and knee effector offset will be a float then you're just going to compile it and save it now over here back in the ALS Enum BP you're going to go to the update graph or you can double click it right here if you and you're going to move this part right here only update if character is valid you're going to move it off to the left and uh, well before we do that we're going to go to the event graph uh, you can double click the event graph down here and you're gonna look at the very top initialize anim instance right here and you're just gonna drag off a try get pawn owner and you're gonna cast to the ALS base character and you're gonna promote that to a variable now go back over here to update graph and off of that ALS base character you're gonna get that feed effector offset and you're gonna and you're gonna uh, set this feed effector offset that you created earlier and plugged in over here at the foot IK right here you're gonna set that 
to the variable from the ALS base. And you're going to do the same thing for the left knee effector. You're going to plug the knee effector offset directly into it. But for the right knee effector offset, you're going to multiply that by negative 1 to invert it before you plug it back in. You might even be able to, there, let's see, uh, I think there, I think you can use these sometimes, but in this case you're just going to want to multiply it by negative 1. And do the same thing for the pelvis effector offset. Now to change it for each character, what you do is you just duplicate the character blueprint and you set each one for your character and then inside of here I'm just going to open up this one under the class defaults you'll see those values over here on the right so for the regular ALS Animan character he's going to have 0 and 0 and then 20, 30 and 0 that's what he's going to have for the ALS Animan character so on my female character I think it needs to be 9, 9, and 10 and oh, 20, 30, 10 and what that does is that brings her knees in so if you need them to go out just put in a negative value Like on him, he, I might want his knees to go out a little bit, so I'll show you. Over here on the Hercules one under class default, I'm just going to type in negative 25. Let's just see what that looks like. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. But let's say negative 5. And that one, that looks actually a little bit more natural. Let's see. That's not what I was expecting. Okay, so let's see. If I come over here and I go to possess, I'm going to go to player zero, and I'm going to disable the possess for this one. And we're just going to do that. So it's not that difficult and you kind of need to do that anyway for the knee effectors because uh, the males, they're going to have knees that go out a little bit further maybe uh, than the females. And if they're a different size, you're going to, like if as tall as he is, he needed his adjusted and uh, so did she. So they had two different values of that we used for their knee effectors and because of that you know the fact that you're gonna have to adjust those anyway it's not really that big of a deal to just go ahead and manually uh, set your feet offset for the skeleton your feet and pelvis offset and that's pretty much it if you liked it uh, or if this helped you uh, like down below and uh, subscribe